Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how sustainable batteries made from lobster and crab shells could shape the future. American University of Maryland researchers have identified a special chemical found in crustaceans like crabs and lobsters that can be used to make long-lasting batteries for energy storage. According to a Newsweek report, they employed a substance called chitin, which makes up a significant component of the structural framework of crabs to manufacture the batteries. Journal Matter published a paper titled A Sustainable Chitosan Zinc Electrolyte for High-Rate Zinc Metal Batteries. Professor Liang Binghu from the University of Maryland served as the project's leader. The professor was quoted by The Guardian as saying, We think both biodegradability of material or environmental impact and the performance of the batteries are important for a product, which has the potential to be commercialized. As the world proceeds towards the deployment of green energy solutions and electric vehicles, the batteries that are used for such technologies must also be environmentally beneficial, the report added. The degradation of conventional batteries, comprised of lithium-ion and other materials, can take hundreds or even thousands of years. These compounds are frequently also flammable and corrosive. Batteries from consumer electronics can start fires on aeroplanes, in landfills, and at recycling sites. The cells that make up the exoskeleton of crustaceans like crabs, shrimp, and lobsters contain chitin, a form of carbohydrate that gives their shells a tough, robust surface. This beneficial ingredient, which can be found in fungi, insects, and other byproducts of the food industry, is extensively spread in nature and is frequently present in restaurant food waste and other byproducts. Scientists are now focusing on electrical engineering after studying a number of applications for chitin. In biomedical engineering, examples of these applications include anti-inflammatory medications and wound dressing. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.